Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the payload library to draw the square using the footer C value from the Vision API response. So recently, I've been working with uh, Microsoft Azure Face API and the Google Vision API. And I noticed that in my previous video, I never redo really anything with the uh, footer C values. And after working with the Face API and the Google Vision API and a couple other uh, APIs, I realize uh, it's actually quite important to show the area which the API uses to detect the object. So for example, uh, from this Microsoft image, I upload to the uh, try the API function from the uh, Google Vision API uh, documentation. And here you can see that the API used uh, these four different uh, vertices values, which is the corner values, and to make out this square right here to indicate in that. This is the area that the API uses to detect the, uh, in this case, will be the logo. And in this tutorial, we're going to use the pillar library to mimic in this feature in Python. Now let's go ahead and open our Python editor. And right here, I have a sample script, basically to uh, gives me the, the uh, image details using the logo detection method. And let me uh, execute the Python script real quick. So here from the from this uh, Python script, and I'm extracting the logo description. So that's the uh, the logo name, and the image that I use I use is the Microsoft uh, Office uh, image. And if we go back to the uh, Python editor, and here from the logo description, the result returns Microsoft, and followed by uh, if you uh, print the footer C values, you get the X and Y corner values. In this case, uh, from the JSON response, we only get we only have uh, three corner values, so it should, should be four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we get four uh, corner values, and I want to uh, draw the script based on the these four uh, vertices values using the pillar library. If you don't have the pillar library installed, you can use the command pip install pillar. Now let me close the command prompt. Now, uh, open a blank script, and we're going to create a function to draw the square based on the vertice values. So first, from the payload uh, library, I'm going to in import the image uh, module, and the image draw module, and the last module be the image font. And I also want to import the IO module, and move that to the top. And I'm going to name my function uh, draw vertices. You can uh, name this function however you want. And for my uh, function, I'm going to have uh, the image source parameter, the vertices uh, response parameter, and the display text. In case if you want to display caption text, and you can use you can provide a display text uh, value or text to the display text uh, parameter. And I'm going to set the default value to blank. Now we're going to construct a pillow image object. So let's call this a pillow underscore img. And we're going to take the image module. And uh, actually, um, let me take a quick look. I think that's a class. OK, so it is a module. So from the image module, and we're going to uh, use the open method. So we're going to take the, the binary uh, data so from so from the Vision API demo, and in general, when I uh so when I create my image file, I'm actually uh, storing the binary data to a content object, and this content object contains the bytes uh, data that construct the image, and we're going to pass the content object to our function, and we're going to use the byte data to uh, reconstruct the image. So from the I/O uh, module, and we're going to use the bytes I/O um, method. And we're going to provide the image source object. Uh, in this case, will be the parameter. And once we have the pillow image object uh, created, we can now create our uh, uh, pillow image draw object. And I'm going to name my draw object as draw. And from the image draw uh, module, and this a uh, draw method. And since a class, so let me take a look. Uh, image. Just give me one second. So it should be image draw. Oops. 
Okay, so this uh, function. So using the image draw dot draw function, I want to provide a pillow image object. Now we're going to take the vertices uh, value, and which is the the four corner values x and y, and we're going to draw each lines to make out to the square. So here we can use a loop. So for i in range, and we're going to use the length function to get the uh, the element counts. So for i in range. Uh, we're going to use the length function providing the vertices uh, parameter value. And we're going to subtract the uh, element counts by one. And next, I'm going to draw each line based on the vertices values. So here, uh, using the line method. And so inside, I want to provide uh, a tuple value with the x and y, so two sub tuples. And so this will be confusing. So from the left, you're uh, going to have three open parentheses. And this will be for the C, for the C's. Uh, it's going to be uh, square bracket i dot x. And this is going to be our first uh, x corner value. And this is going to be the y corner value. And so for the first tuple, so I'm going to provide the vertices, and and this will be uh, i plus one. So we're going to increase the, uh, and we're going to use the the next uh, vertices element. And this can be x uh, value, and let me double check. It should be uh, there's no uh, close parenthesis, and this will be vertices, and i plus one dot y. And so here I'm going to move the close point to C over. And this is my corner X and the corner uh, Y value. So we're going to draw the line from uh, point 0.1 to point 0.2. And next we can basically uh, provide the formatting uh, options. So here I want to uh, draw the line using the color of uh, green. And I'm going to make the line width uh, let's set up to 8, point, uh, 8 pixels. From this loop right here, we're only actually drawing um, three lines, so we still need to fill the last line. And to do that, so once we finish running the loop, we can draw the last line. So here I'm going to use the length function, provide the vertices and minus one. And it should be uh, vertices. Uh, object and dot x and me and I'll copy um so this code right here and I'll just paste over a uh, comma and I'll replace the x with y and that's my first uh, corner value and for the second corner value I'm just going to grab uh, this tuple right here, and except that this is going to be uh, zero, so it should be for the C uh, zero elements. So this will be the same. Okay, and let me double check. So that's open. Okay, now uh, we'll do the same. So here I uh, want to fill the uh, the line color using the using uh, so I'm going to fill the line color with the color of green, and for the width I'm also going to set that to eight. And let me fix the formatting real quick. And hopefully there's no uh typo or anything. Let me just double check. Uh, okay, it looks pretty good. Now we're going to construct a font object. So the font object is going to store uh, the font style. Using the image font module, and we're going to use the two type. And here we want to provide the font name. So I'm going to use arial.ttf. And I'm going to set the font size to 16. 
and here we're going to uh, do drop the text and this is the caption we want to insert to our image. And we're going to insert a tuple and this will be vertices and it's going to be the first element dot x. And I'm going to uh, move the caption. So here I'm going to do plus 10 and for the C0 dot y. And from the fonts parameter, and I'm going to put by my font uh, object. So that's going and that's going to be my font style. And for the text, it's going to be uh, display text parameter value. And last, we're going to use different color for the caption color. And this time I'm going to use the RGB value. So I'm going to set the, uh, the text color to white. So the RGB value will be 255 all across. And lastly, uh, we're going to show the, the image using the pillow image, using the pillow, uh, pillow image object. And this method called uh, show. So that will display the image on your screen. Now let me save the Python script. Now let's go ahead and import the uh, the, the function. So from draw vertices vertices, I'm going to import my function draw. Let me go back. So it should be draw vertices. And here within the loop, I'm going to call the function. So draw vertices. And our first parameter is the image source. So it will be the content object. And for the second parameter, it is the vertices object. And the last parameter is the uh, display text. So here I'm going to use the logo.description. And that's it. Now, so here I'm using the Microsoft image. And let me change that to uh, this test.com jpg image file and from this file we have uh, actually uh, we have couple companies logo so like apple ibm and circuit city and i know the company uh went bankrupt a long long time ago so here i'm going to change my image file to test.jpg now if i save the python script and if i just run it So here have a typo description. Okay. So let me try again. Okay, and this time getting the Im image source is not defined. Oh, so I noticed that. I know. So I noticed there's a typo. Should be uh, image source. Okay, let me try one more time and cross my fingers. Okay, now this time, uh, Ibsen's working. I think Ibsen's working. So here we have the Apple logo. And so I noticed that um, the function didn't print the text correctly. Uh, I'm guessing because the background's white, but here, so here we have this one is for Nintendo. Oh, okay, I can see the text right here. Because we set the font color to white, and so it's really hard to see. And let me uh, use Microsoft uh, image again. I think that image will probably work the best. So let me change the image color name to uh, Microsoft's image. And if I uh, rerun the Python script. Okay, now this time uh, we can see that uh, the draw vertices function uh, correctly uh, used the vertices values to draw the square and to highlight the logo uh, inside this image. And inside the square area, so we have the, the, the display text. In this case, uh, it's based on the text of the Logo description value, which is Microsoft. This is everything I want to show you guys in this video. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.